Hi, I'm George Makris, product manager for cases here at Corsair. This is the Carbide Spec Alpha. Like the rest of our Spec Series cases, which are built to be good, high airflow gaming cases for those of you guys who don't want to spend a huge amount of money on cases, the Spec Alpha has a mesh front and mesh top and lots of airflow throughout. But that's not all that makes it cool. Aside from the really cool geometric and angular ID, which calls back to kind of our Bulldog living room PC design chassis, this case actually has a lot of internal features that are pretty cool too. But before we get into the cool stuff inside, let me talk about the outside. The front mesh has better airflow, so you get airflow right to your graphics cards and CPU cooler, and there's no optical drive bay at all to get in the way, so you have direct airflow to every one of your internal components. The front I.O. panel has USB 3.0 ports, fan controller, and your standard headphone, mic, power, and reset buttons. The top panel is also a built-in mesh filter for those of you guys who are going to use the top as an intake and want dust filters there as well. But, like I mentioned before, the cool parts inside, let's go to that. The front of the case has two 120 millimeter LED fans as default in place of the five and a quarter inch optical drive bay. Here we've installed an H100i, you can see installed in the front there and the fans are on the outside of the case. There's a hard drive bay right next to that, that fits three three and a half inch drives and two SSDs or two and a half inch mechanical drives if you prefer. Uh, and also down at the bottom, plenty of room for a large power supply with a dust filter underneath to keep the intake clean. Behind the case, you have your standard 120mm fan mount and also seven expansion slots. But behind the motherboard tray, we have a couple other innovative features. Standard cable routing tie downs and cutouts, but also two more SSD mounts. So you can install a total of four SSDs or two and a half inch drives and three mechanical drives at the same time. And you can do that without impinging on the airflow at all from the front panel to the interior of the case. You can keep your 240mm radiator up there or 2120s if you'd like. That drive cage is removable for extra cooling if you'd like. So that's why I think the Spec Alpha is a case worth considering, you guys. Go check it out, take a look at it, let us know what you think. Come back to us and tell us, hey, I like it, but, or wow, that's perfect, you guys nailed it. Anything you guys say, I'm gonna read. Uh, I'm not gonna agree with it all, especially you, but I'm not gonna agree with it all. But I will listen to it, I guarantee that. This case is based on user preference. You guys said get rid of the optical drive bays, nobody cares, we did. Make it so that you can fit a lot of drives in it and still have a front radiator, we did. So. Again, user demand, user preference, and we're offering different color bases. So we have these two colors at launch. We'll have more colors coming soon. Keep an eye out for them. There are gonna be some special editions uh, based on user demand and request again. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you keep tuned, we'll show you how to contact us at the end. Make sure you subscribe here on YouTube. Make sure you follow us on Twitter and Facebook. And if you invent some new type of social media we don't even know about, make sure you put us on that right away. If you're the next, you know, Mark Zuckerberg or whatever, we're your best friends, buddy. We love you.